police have done the right thing. They've obviously noticed that they're not getting DNA profiles back when maybe they should. So they've done the right thing. They've, they've reached out to the laboratory and, and asked them that question. I was pretty disappointed with the response that, that came, which was completely implausible, uh, blaming bacteria uh, or the presence of, of bacteria on the samples and, and that preventing the DNA profiles. And, and, and that's just not a realistic or accurate answer. And, and to be quite honest with you, it's, it's not demonstrating that the laboratory is willing to assist the police in this matter. It's implausible because the bacteria simply doesn't impact um, the, the DNA in that way, particularly if there's large quantities of DNA uh, and particularly if they're fairly fresh uh, samples and if those samples were readily collected, appropriately packaged and stored, the bacteria isn't going to have anywhere near the impact that it would result in no DNA profile at all. So um, I've worked on many cases where the, the sample has been very old. Um, um, and you know potentially could have contained bacteria um, but I've nearly always been able to get a DNA profile from those items. Now swabs from a, a motor vehicle and swabs from a fresh pool of blood, bacteria doesn't come into that at all. It wouldn't have impacted those samples. That's what concerns me. It's implausible from a scientific perspective but it, it, it demonstrates to me that the lab isn't willing to assist the police in, in trying to resolve this matter in terms of why they're not getting DNA profiles when they should. So to me, it, it appears as though the police is extending its hand, asking for help for the laboratory, and, and the laboratory's just slapping that hand away. This case requires somebody or a group of people to independently review the DNA case file.